Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to go over quant. So quant right now is trading at $63.11. Market cap, we are at $761 million and we are down 9.83% for the day. So heading over to our four hour immediate short term chart here for quant, it is currently facing some short term bullish pressure as indicated here by the position of the price is below our 20 EMA and is hovering around around our 50 moving average. Now the $62.58, which is our 50% of our FIB, is acting as a key area of support here. And if the break below 50% of our FIB, then potentially it is gonna continue this bearish trend. Taking a look at our daily time frame, we saw that huge selling pressure as the price for quant here had come up to a high of $70 after a breakaway Way in the last couple of days here but we are seeing a lot of um, buyers profiting around this area and it could possibly go into a bearish reversal another thing here that we do want to see is our rsi here it is at 32.13 percent it is approaching oversold conditions so it could be hinting a potential rebound however if we take a look at the um, history of quant in terms of the rsi the rsi RSI can drop as close to 23 or even 14% before we see it, that rebound or that reversal itself. So just keep that in mind in some market conditions. In some coins, the 32% is a good area of support and often a good reversal. For quad, it may be a little bit different. Now, taking a look at our MACD indicator here, it is showing a very, very negative bearish territories. The selling per pressure, the selling momentum, momentum is going strong here. Now, if the price itself does move into a further decline past the 50% itself, we may see the area of support around our 38% of our FIB at $60.63. So again, if quant can hold above the 50% retracement level, it may attempt to bounce toward the $64 itself, $64.53. However, again, if the support is lost, the next trigger line of support we're looking at is around $60.63. So a lot of pressure is on here for quant if we're able to maintain and break away from this resistance then this may be a slight short-term bearish momentum or it may decline overall and flop on the daily time frame but let me know what you guys think down below thanks so much for tuning in and i'll catch you in the next one